Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Bullock here. I am at school. It's right before class, so we might hear some noise coming in the background. That's all right. So solve uh, linear systems by the addition and subtraction method. I think this way is slick. Let's first solve this system. We'll go ahead and do the substitution property. So what I'll do first is get rid of this minus x on this equation right here. So I'm going to go plus x plus x. And do you see those are going to cancel right there? And then uh, I'm left with this y right here, y equals negative 2, I'm sorry, x minus 2. Ooh, little careless error. So it's this x minus 2. And then we're going to substitute this in for this y right here. And I think I color coded that. Uh, it's going to go in right there at that y. So here we go. Um, so it's going to be x plus 4 times y, which is this x minus 2. So I just substituted that in right there. Then I'm going to use the distributive property and distribute the 4 through. So 4x minus 8. Then we'll combine those like x's right there. So x plus 4x is 5x, and then 5x minus 8. Then we'll add 8 to both sides, and we get 25. 5 goes into 25 uh, 5 times, okay? And then don't forget, that's not the final answer. You've got to find out y also. So I'll plug in y right there, and then we get 5 minus 2 or 3, and write your answer as an ordered pair. Okay, now I'm going to show you a new method. It's going to be the same problem right here. So let's remember this answer, 5, 3. And this one's called the addition and subtraction method, or the elimination method also. If I just took these two equations and just added them together, look what happens. This minus x and plus x cancel out. And then 4y plus y is 5y. And then uh, 17 plus negative 2 is 15. Okay, do you see that right there? The x's are gone and 5y equals 15, so divide by 5 and you get y equals 3. Now remember, back here when we had this, we had, uh, we had y equals 3 right there. Okay, so we got the same y value, and then you can just plug in x equals uh, into any equation y equals 3. I just did it in the top equation, but you could have done it in this bottom equation also. I, I, I didn't do it in this one because this negative fools a lot of kids. A lot of kids get tripped up on that negative right there. So here's positive x. Once I plug in y equals 3 right there, then I, then subtract it out and you get um, you get 12 and subtract it out and you get x equals 5. Okay, So you still get the same answer, 5, 3. But you get it a quicker way, I think. So here you have 4x plus 3y equals 2, and 5x minus or plus 3y equals negative 2. If I could change one of these equations to a negative 3y, then I can just add them together like I did the last one. So what I'm going to do is take that bottom equation and multiply everything times negative 1. So it just changes the sign in everything in that equation right there. Okay, so negative 1 times 5x is negative 5x. Negative 1 times 3y is negative 3y. And finally, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. I'm going to slide that top equation right over. I didn't do anything. I'm just going to slide it right over. And then I can add the blue equation and the red equation together, and I get negative 1x. 4x plus negative 5x is negative 1x. 2 plus 2 is 4, and then those are gone. They cancel each other out nicely. So you get x equals negative 4. Remember, negative 1x equals 4. That means you divide both sides by negative 1. You get x equals 4. And I can put in x equals, I'm sorry, x equals negative 4. I can put in x equals negative 4 into that equation, that equation, or this red guy over here. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm going to plug it back up into the top equation. So 4 times negative 4 plus 3y equals 2. Negative 16 plus 3y equals negative 2. And then we're going to add 16. Don't forget we add 16. A lot of kids want to subtract 16, and sometimes your teacher does too. But just watch out. You've got to add the opposite. So 3y equals 18. So we get uh, y equals 6. Good morning, Xavier. Uh, and then so um, remember your ordered pair is x comma y, so you get negative 4 comma 6. Okay, so here's number three. Okay, I'm going to take that um, uh, top equation this time and multiply that by negative one, because that's going to get me a negative 6y right there that will cancel out with this positive 6y. But this gets times negative one, and this gets times negative one also. Okay, so there I did it right over there. Everything, just go through and change all the signs of this equation right there. That's when you multiply by negative one. So I get that right there. I'm going to slide the bottom equation right underneath it and check it out. Negative 6y, positive 6y, when I add them together, those cancel. Just be careful when you're adding the rest of those guys, you guys. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and add those two equations together. So negative 5x plus 2x, or plus 7x is, is uh, positive 2x. 
the negative 6y and positive 6y cancel. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4, okay, and then 2 goes into 4 2 times, so we're going to go ahead and plug 2 back into any equation that you want. I'm choosing the bottom equation, so 7 times 2 plus 6y equals 8, so 7 times 2 is 14, and we're going to subtract 14 from both sides. 8 minus 14 is negative 6, okay, so y equals negative 1. Don't forget your answer is an ordered pair, okay? All right, that's it, you guys. Take care. Hope that helped.